I went to Bangkok. I went mm -hmm. to Phi Phi Island, and it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. Mm. สวัสดีครับต้นแขกมาเพจคอนเทนต์ครีเอเตอร์ของ The Standard Pop ค่ะสำหรับสเปเชียลอินเทอร์วิวของเราในวันนี้นะครับเป็นแขกรับเชิญจากอีกซีกโลกหนึ่งเลยซึ่งเขาเนี่ยเป็นทั้งนักร้องนักแต่งเพลงนักแสดงนักธุรกิจแล้วก็แฟชั่นไอคอนจากฝั่งลาตินอเมริกาที่มีชื่อเสียงมากที่สุดในโลกคนหนึ่งซึ่งก็คือมาลูมานั่นเองค่ะที่ก่อนหน้านี้นะคะแฟนๆชาวไทยเนี่ยอาจจะเคยได้ยินเสียงหรือว่าเห็นหน้าค่าตาของเขาจากภาพยนตร์อนิเมชันเรื่อง Encanto หรือว่าเพลงที่อย่างเพลงฮาวายแล้วก็เพลงแมนดารินที่ทํากับมาดอนนานั่นเองนะคะแต่ว่าวันนี้เนี่ยมาลูมาได้ปล่อยอัลบั้มชุดใหม่ที่ชื่อว่า The Love and Sex Tape แค่ชื่อก็ฟังดูเซ็กซี่มากๆเลยใช่ไหมคะวันนี้เนี่ยเราเลยได้คิวสัมภาษณ์เขามาเป็นการส่วนตัวถ้าพร้อมแล้วเราล็อกอินเข้าซูมแล้วก็เตรียมตัวไปคุยกับมาลูมากันดีกว่าค่ะแต่ก่อนอื่นอย่าลืมกด subscribe แล้วก็เปิด notification ของช่อง The s a n a t o p ของเราด้วยนะคะ Hi Hi Maluma How are you today What's up Remton I heard that that your name sounded a little bit like reggaeton and I loved it Yes 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 That That I think that's why you got it right Like you know some some people got um struggle with my names but you got it right Like that's Remton, perfect Yeah Remton but it's yeah. so nice because you sound like reggaeton and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> And how are you Where are you now Are you in LA Right Yeah, I'm in Los Angeles right now. Have a show tonight here. Tomorrow, uh, I'm doing a couple of things, and I'm going to Las Vegas because I'm doing a big event in Vegas that is called Maluma Land. And then mm -hmm. I'm going straight to Europe. That have a European tour, some European tour, and yeah, man, keep working. You know, never stop. You, you always seems on the road, right? <laughs> yeah, bro, always working, man. Um. So um, first of all, I want to say congratulations on your new album. Um, you. How how are you how are you feeling that is coming out now? It's amazing, man. You know, it's a very street album. You know, it's mm -hmm. very very re reggaeton. Like I really <laughs> I really miss doing that kind of of mm -hmm. songs because because I was born and raised listening to that kind of music and with the artists right. that I collaborated in the in the album, they are my friends now. But I I actually like I was. Growing up, listening to their songs, so for me, it's like a very special, special album. It's also short, you know, only eight mm -hmm. songs, and four of them are already with videos, and so you know, it's like a, a very short experience album. But mm -hmm. for me, it's like it's it's a great album. You know, it's my my baby, and I work so hard uh, to put it out. So yeah, I feel very proud of the the things that we're we're achieving with the album, the featurings that we got in the album. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, yeah, man. Thank God. And for, before we jump into the um the interview, um, I have something to say. Um, last months ago, I was I just watched Encanto, and I just um I hear the the, the voice of Mariano, and I said, mm, this voice sounds Mariano. very familiar. <laughs> I was, and then I googled it. I just, oh my god, it's you! I was like, oh my yeah, god, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you like the movie? Nice, right? Yes, I love it. And and I think that that um, I think that the first time that I experienced like the um the culture of Colombian people, like the like the the vibrancy, wow. the um like you know the life and the the, that's you know, the love of the family. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually that's true. Perfect, you know, yeah. The, That that's why for us was so important. The movie was so important uh, to Colombia because mm -hmm. you know that people they they don't know a lot about Colombia, you know, and 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 things like that, like art, you know, like like yeah. the movie as Jose like J Balvin and me and Shakira and Carol G and all these artists from Colombia that we're just trying to change the face of our country. We wouldn't want people to still thinking that Colombia is still Pablo Escobar, drugs, violence, yeah. negative things. I feel like we're just trying to change that and, and it's working, you know, look look what you're saying. Like like for you, it was another experience like watching Encanto, you feel like you were getting into the Latin or mm -hmm. Colombian uh, culture. So for us, it was a, a big, right. big change. Mm. But we're not here to talk about Bruno or Mariano. Um, we are here to talk about you. Um, um, but the first question is, um, I'm going to ask why the name of um, the love and sex tape. Well, first of all, I feel I feel like like these these songs or yeah, this whole album was 
it reminded me a lot when I started my career, right? When I was 16, 17 years old. So all these uh, stories that we hear about inside the album, there are mm. like these kind of stories that I, that I lived when I was a, a very young kid and I was just starting in the music industry. So those were the, the topics that we should, or we, were, we used to talk in the streets, you know, every song like La Vida Es Bella, who says like, you go and date this guy and, and I go and I date this girl, but it's still okay, you know, like just, my mind was like very open when, when I was doing this album. So that's why mm -hmm. I wanted to call it the love and sex tape. And both are amazing too, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to take advantage of it and tell people that they yeah. should enjoy it. <laughs> and, and the thing that that, that um, amazed me the most is during the pandemic, you seem to be, you know, super productive. You have two yeah. albums, one EP, two movies, um, one production company, one fragrance, and what all, and one world tour. <laughs> and, and, and man, how did you manage to do all of that? I seems like, oh my God, that's, I mean, amazing. Well, I always, I always say that this industry is not for the most talented one. You know, I would say this is for the people who are very disciplined and are hard right. workers, you know? True. Like, Mm -hmm. Because I know I know so many stories about people that they were super talented and they got beautiful and big songs and they just disappear and I feel like that's not the kind of story that I want people to tell about me. For me, so the opposite. Maybe if I'm not the most talented one, I'm, I want to be the most disciplined one. You know, for me that's the most important thing. I could just get the focus. I keep growing my companies i keep growing my entrepreneur mind also my my music universe is growing too you know i just i just created a new company a film company that is called royalty films the perfume the collaboration with macy's collaboration with versace fashion wise in the industry mm -hmm. i'm still growing a lot i'm friends i'm close friends with the biggest designers in the world because i really love the industry you know so it's like it's like amazing all the things that i'm living right now is just like a, a process which i feel very blessed and i keep learning from it and the thing i recognize from your album um, album cover is your dog buddha <laughs> and uh, you and here's the way on your side um and he's in the Vestisha campaign too. Um, why you decided to to you know take him on to this album too? I feel like Buddha is like my alter ego. Sometimes mm -hmm. you know, like he's like my same soul. I feel like we're just so connected that if you see Buddha, you're gonna see me, and if you see me, you're gonna see Buddha. That's how I feel with him. That's why I miss him so much. You know, I couldn't bring it uh, to to Los Angeles, and right now I feel like mm. half of me is. is He's in mm -hmm. Colombia, you know, so I feel like Buddha is, yeah, like my spirit in an animal. That's why I just wanted to people to to know that and put him on on the cover of the album and also did this big chain with with his face and, <laughs> and everything is because mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I yes. love him and, and just to to show love to my dog, man, because animals for me, they mean everything, you know, they're like my my masters. Mm -hmm. And I'm and I'm curious. There's many Latin artists that um Latin artists that um you know sing both English and Spanish. Do you consider you know doing like the full English album one day in the future? I feel like I really love Spanish music, and I wouldn't change my language you know to be more successful because mm -hmm. I'm really proud of being Latino and and singing Spanish. But if I find a good opportunity to do a song, an English song, I would do it for sure. You know, I, I, I have no barriers. I always want to keep experimenting and keep growing in different aspects. So, so yeah, I, I would say that it's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I will do it right away. I mean, actually, I, I, I agree with you um, because nowadays um, Latin music is kind of like dominating the world and it's like, you know, it's part of your need, culture yeah, too. Exactly. We don't need to change, yeah. right now we don't need to change our language mm -hmm. because we see that our biggest hits, they're in Spanish. 
Hawaii, if you see uh, Jay Bobbins song, Mi Gente, you know, that's mm -hmm. yeah. Spanish too, you know, and you keep seeing all these examples of big artists around the world that they, they didn't change their language. So if I do it, it's because, because I, want, I just want to experience something new, you know? Mm -hmm. And last question, um, what's left for Maluma to conquer in this world? Well, I need to go back to Thailand. For real? Yes. Please come back. come back. Please come here. I went with a, in a trip, in a family trip, when I was like 21, 22 years old, something like that. And I went, I went to Bangkok. I went mm -hmm. to Fifth Island. Well, I did like this trip over there, like for 15 days, and it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. Oh, thank you. And I can't, I mm. can't wait to to go back. So yeah, I have to go there and and perform over there i know i have a huge fan base even yes even yes you have yes at that time yeah in that time i went to the mall i remember i went to the mall just to have lunch and these girls they were like they were my age too and they were <laughs> screaming and asking for autographs <laughs> it was i was so young and I, it was so far away from my house you know like thailand and colombia i never i never thought about it and I yeah really yeah I have a big uh fan base over there so i just want to say Hello to all my fans in Thailand. I really appreciate your love. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time today. And thank you for your music you bring to the world, to the joy, to the fun. Um, thank you so much. And I hope you have fun with your tour tonight and everything you in the album. Thank, thank you so you, much, man. my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. Bye.